Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from Gratitude Education, and today what I'm going to be doing is a balanced bob. Uh, the balanced part is going to be the, the shape around the front and the or the sides and the back are going to be very balanced. So all the layering and everything is going to fall very symmetrical and uh, very polished. And then the top, we're going to go in and have a little bit of fun with. So we're going to start off by taking a center back section, port that down. So we'll break that into two. Then we're going to go from the occipital bone down to right behind the ear, slight diagonal forward section to start the haircut. So you can see that right now I'm taking it in my fingers. Um, you could cut this along the neck if you wanted to. You know, it's personal preference. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, with this haircut, I like to have just a slight bit of elevation right here. So I'm gonna fingers width from uh, fingers width section. Then we're gonna pull down. Everything is square in the back, so that'll be kind of our balanced feel. So we're gonna square it off straight line in the back. So once we get to that corner. Um, near the clip that you can see there, that's going to be overdirected slightly back to create that corner. So then when I go in, because I held it in my fingers, I would have a slight uh, bit of hair, kind of a slight bit of graduation through there. I just go in and clean that line up. So any stragglers that I see, then I can start building my graduation from there. So everything uh, with this haircut, zero degrees. So you will see a slight elevation. Some of you may look at this as a 45 degree because I'm elevating it, but um, I'm looking at the head shape. Um, it's something that, you know, I preach a lot because the head shape changes. So you really got to look at your angles based on the head shape. So with this haircut, it's not 45 degrees because as her head starts to move away, I need to elevate the hair to keep it nice and light, um, but still keep it at that zero degree angle. Just moving up the head, working with horizontal sections. I like when I'm creating a bob type haircut to work horizontally. You can work vertically, which we're going to in a minute, but um, to get a strong base and to keep the shape very strong, I like to personally um, use horizontal sections because I'm holding more of the shape in my hand and the elevation, you know, I can keep pretty consistent still holding it horizontally. So you'll see my hand slightly drop um, as I work my way over. Again, it's just because the head shape is changing. So as the head shape changes, I want to keep it still at a zero degree angle. So drop my hand just a little bit. Another horizontal section. Everything nice and clean. And when you practice haircuts like this, it's really just the most important thing is how you comb, how you section, and how you get the hair out of the way, really, because the hair that you're cutting, the cutting part is easy. It's really difficult to comb well. So just really work on your combing, your sectioning, and how professional you look as a stylist when you're doing it. Working through cutting palm to palm. Um, now you're gonna see me kind of shift, but so we cut palm to palm horizontally all the way up until this point. Now I'm gonna comb the hair down. I'm gonna start working vertically. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because as I'm working on that round of the head, I want to start layering now and vertically I can work more with my weight control. So I want to take out a little extra weight so I can work vertically and get a more consistent uh, weight removal on this haircut. So now we're going to start layering using the shape of the head. So pretty easy to follow. So you'll see me shift up as the head starts to move. So just more and more elevation. Nice, soft fall to the haircut. The thing I like about this is it keeps it nice and balanced, but, and everything's getting over-directed back, so we're keeping um, a little bit of that square feel. We will round it slightly in the corner, but um, the thing I like about it most is we created that really strong base on this haircut, and now we're gonna put a nice, light, um, kind of rooftop feel to it. So. I don't want to have that heavy bob line that you'll see in a lot of haircuts. It's it's uh, too much graduation because the head starts to peel away and we don't change our elevation in the haircut. So you'll see here, changing the elevation, move into a layering technique, and it cuts it nice. So 
so keeping the square so everything straight back in the haircut. What this is gonna do is allow more weight to push behind the ear. And we're gonna mess with that weight later, but um, haircutting is really thinking about your next move. It's almost like playing chess in a way. So where are you holding the hair and where's it gonna push the weight so then later you have that weight to work with. So right now I just pushed a bunch of weight. You'll see a little slight disconnection, kind of. Um, see that slight disconnection underneath? Yeah, right there. So. That's something we can mess with later. It's not gonna stay like that, because um, this is gonna be a really solid line on the bottom, but it pushed more weight behind the ear that we can work with. So we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So section finger width. Just cutting a nice square line in the back. I'm using a YS Park comb. I really like these combs because they have um, just kind of a tooth in the front of the comb, so it allows that real clean, easy section in there. So uh, that's why I chose that. Again, watch the head shape, keeping the elevation at a zero degree angle. and then as the head starts to drop down. So at the beginning of this section where the occipital bone is um, and where that point is in the, in the triangle of the section, that's definitely a different shape than right behind the ear. So as we get to behind the ear, we're definitely gonna drop our elevation down to keep it at a zero degree angle. And to keep the weight, that's really the important thing. If I held everything up at the same elevation throughout, then the weight would be so much lighter behind the ear and you don't want that because you actually lose hair behind the ear. So being able to maintain that weight as you work through the haircut is really important. You'll see me comb the hair over and over again. And you know, it, it's important to get consistent combing. And if you think about that guest that you've had where you had to chase her up to the front because you missed that one little piece of hair and it's just hanging there randomly, um, or they've told you about it when they came back in that they had to cut it. You know, it's just, it's really important to stay professional and really clean through each haircut. And the better you comb the haircut, the more consistent it's gonna be. Um, you know, I strive every day to get a more and more perfect haircut. I'll never get the perfect haircut, um, probably, but, uh, you know, every day you just work to get better at it. So, and you, you know, you watch videos like this because you just take little tips and tricks. So, um, combing to me is the most important part of a haircut. Again, dropping that elevation. Elevation is different at this point than it was uh, towards the middle of the head. Now we're gonna move into our vertical sections. So working on the base, keeping a strong shape at the beginning of this, and then now we're gonna elevate and remove weight and soften that line that's gonna happen and build up on this part of the hair. You can see I'm kind of shifting things around. Probably didn't see the guide there, I'm assuming. Um, so just combing and working through. If you don't find your guide, don't cut. And that's, you know, it's really important to, to make sure that you keep up with the guide and, and follow through with that. So still working vertical sections. Everything's coming straight back from where it lives. So we're not over directing. 
Um, I think it's important, especially in the balanced, when we call this a balanced bob, um, you know, keeping the shape balanced so we're not overdirecting weight and pushing it anywhere. I'm just bringing it straight out from where it lives and cutting it nice and square. You can see I'm working through with one, one scissor blade moving. Uh, the reason for that is the scissors really developed to only have one blade moving. So it's gonna cut the hair the best. And as you'll see me kind of push through it quite a few times, it's not like I'm just going in one swipe and cutting because the tip of the scissor is gonna cut a more uh, perfect line. So you'll see it quite a few different times throughout this haircut that just that tip of the scissor comes through and works its way uh, up the hair the section and cuts it, just using the tip a little bit at a time. One thing to focus on right at this point is, you can see I'm not grabbing a bunch of hair at once and I'm not just grabbing random hair. So if you watch hairdressers around you, you might see just pulling up a, a big wad of hair into a section and cutting it and layering it or, or whatever, but you gotta keep it organized. Because if you don't keep the hair organized, then you're gonna lose your place. And some hairdressers don't even ever have a place. They just keep cutting and uh, removing weight and go by the eye, which is great. The, the problem is you're not benefiting the guest uh, when you do that because they're not going to be able to recreate this haircut. This is Drea. We're cutting this haircut on. I, I work with her. Um, she works at the salon. So uh, I saw her come in to the salon. We cut this hair actually yesterday. We're voiceovering today. But she walked in the salon today and the haircut looked great. Um, and, you know, it's not because she's a hairdresser and she can style it. It's because it's cut precise so it falls the way that it should. So um, I wanna get back to this point right here. You can see I'm cutting with the point of the scissor, but that weight that we left on before, where I told you we were pushing extra weight behind the ear, now we're gonna go through and cut that into a straight line. And what you can see there is how solid this line gets. And this is the coolest part about this haircut, is we over direct it, so it pushed extra weight behind the ear, and now we can cut that into a straight line preserving the weight behind the ear, but still getting that straight line out of it. So this is a pretty cool um, point right here. Just really following, I wanna go slightly below her cheekbone for the end result of this haircut. So just kind of following that line. I'm gonna do a little tap above the ear. I've seen this quite a few times other hairdressers do that. Um, just gives it a little freedom. So the hair that's falling over her ear um, doesn't get in the way and it doesn't screw up the line uh, in the haircut. Now we're going to work diagonal back, but still directly straight out from the head. So we'll round this shape a little bit, um, kind of open it off of her face and still layering. And the key point here is I want to start working. This is going to be her heavy side. So she's going to have a really deep parting, which you can see on her left hand side. So we're going to be working from the weighted side. So I want to remove a really nice amount of weight from this side. So that's where I'm starting. So I want to start, this is going to be to me the interior of the haircut. So the inside of the haircut, I want to take all the weight out of it. So nice 90 degree elevation on the hair, remove as much weight as possible using that bottom piece, uh, the very bottom baseline as my guide and just going through and removing all of that excess weight and then that top panel that's uh, that's sectioned away will fall over top of it and it'll be nice and light not grabbing a lot of hair making sure that I keep nice clean sections and i follow that guideline high elevation keeping 90 degrees I'm just gonna work back to behind the ear. So not, not going all the way back through the head, just that one section that I had, and then stopping. Last little bit.
So we've now removed the weight from underneath there. Now we're gonna let the top down and we're gonna work over directing. So this is gonna be the first part of the haircut where we're really over directing the hair. Um, we're still gonna cut it in an open kind of shape. So it's gonna be pushing the weight off of her face. So you'll see it shifting my elbow up and cutting short to long in the back. So shortest at the fringe and then working triangular basically straight up from the hair. So you'll see my over direction just working. So then it'll be a long point in the back. So we'll keep taking those sections and the partings through and then over directing them over top of the first section. So we created a stationary guide at the beginning and now we're going to overdirect everything to it. Still cutting using that tip of the scissor. It's the easiest way to work through and cut a straight line. Keeping the combing consistent. But you can see that over direction. So right over top of the part is where we're headed with, with all the weight of the hair. The idea of this was we created all the layering in the back. We removed all the weight from the heavy side. So now this is gonna fall over top. So it'll push extra weight um, over top of those layers that we cut. And then it'll push a cool little disconnection into the back of the haircut that she can kind of scrunch up. She likes to wear her hair a little bit wavier and fun. So this will allow you know that disconnection to have a little bit of length towards the back of the haircut. Almost all the way through. Basically I'm gonna cut this until there's no more hair that will reach over there so that every little bit of the hair is connected together. That's the last little bit. You can see there's barely any hair left. So now I know that I can move on. Now we're gonna work our way to the weaker side. So as a hairdresser, you can't look at both sides as equals. So normally we're, when we're cutting hair, we think, okay, so we held it at 90 degrees on one side. So now we have to hold it at 90 degrees on the other. So um, basically, the reason I cut the top and I uh, removed so much weight from it was so that it would lay and look symmetrical. But that doesn't mean that each line is cut symmetrical. So as long as you explain that to the guests and they understand why each little bit of their hair might be a different length, um, then, you, then you'll be all right. It's just educating the guests on that. So when we work on the weak side, we're gonna go through, cut the line right below the jawline. And then we're gonna work our way through again, real simple, directing everything straight out from the head. Just removing that tad bit of, of weight from the haircut, but still working 90 degrees. Keeping with our balanced shape theme there. There's been a lot of talk of, you know, should we speed these haircuts up? Should we do other things? I personally like that you can walk through this haircut step by step. I feel like this is something that, you know, you can take to a beauty school and you can learn it that way. Or, you know, you can sit in the salon on your time off and really just kind of watch through the haircut and mimic what's happening. Um, so I think 
I'm liking that the, the haircuts are this length. You can definitely comment with us, let us know. We love feedback on how you feel about the haircuts, but hopefully, hopefully you get a lot out of this one um, with the length that it is. And there you go, nice little balanced shape. We're gonna move into a little bit of dry cutting. Again, using that point of the scissor, this is the key thing, and no haircut is done until it's detailed dry. Um, that's what I think. So um, I'm gonna have her kind of toss her hair back and forth and look at how the hair falls. And then I'm gonna go back in with the point of the scissor and keep working that line until it, it falls perfectly every time she shakes her head. What that's gonna do is, in turn, when she goes to blow dry her hair, she'll still have a perfect line in her haircut. Those lines are what make haircuts stand out. Um, I know that I'm attracted to those kind of lines when I see anybody's work anywhere. I like seeing some kind of line in it, whether it's choppy or messy um, throughout the whole haircut, but if there's a nice solid line in there somewhere, it always uh, catches my eye. So now we're gonna go through with the teasing technique just to finish it off. What this will do is just add little light layers to it. So, you know, taking the perfect haircut and then just making it a little bit imperfect and adding that texture in there. This technique is cool. It's very simple to do. Um, you know, work your way in. You're half closing the scissor. So it's actually, we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna show you a slow down version of it in just a second. So, let me see. We're gonna work our way in, half closing the scissor, just kind of teasing. You can see right there, it's a half closed motion. So as you push the scissor in, a little half close to it, and you're not actually teasing the hair. You're not trying to shove the scissor and just shake it back and forth on the hair. You're actually half closing it as you work your way in. So just start off, um, you know, working on maybe a mannequin with it. You can work on a, a guest with it. Just, you know, try a couple little sections, see how it works out. But um, it's not something that you can drastically mess up hair doing. Um, but once you perfect the technique, it creates a really cool texture to the hair, so. And that is our balanced bob. Hope you guys enjoy it.